Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Pisces their weekly love read. Pisces, this is for the week of November 20th through the 26th. So I wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I celebrate Christmas, so Merry Christmas to you all. Happy Holidays. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Ooh, nice. Um, Pisces, we're going to do the you, them, and the connection. So we're going to get cards on each of those. Um, there is a Silhouettes deck I'm going to pull from Celestial, Celestial Forecast from Carrie. Um, I'm going to pull some cards from there. In the Shadows Oracle from All Things Intuitive, I'm going to get an Island Time Wellness card. And we're going to finish off your read with a Moonology card. Uh, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this, this reading just totally missed the mark, then please check your moon or your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon or your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will take you uh, to a website that will tell you that information. You got to punch some things in. And then there's also a link in the description box that will take you to my personal webpage. Um, To get a free to get a reading not a free reading in case saying that i must want to give another free reading away maybe i will soon um but uh if you'd like a personal read there's a link in the description box below um you guys i am hovering at 91 subscribers um i just kind of started posting stuff i think in july of this year if i could get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year i would be so happy so if you feel inclined to do so please subscribe to my channel um i would be so happy if i could get to 100 no pressure if you don't want to no worries um but that would be pretty cool for me all right, guys, um, the bottom of the deck is you, Pisces, the moon card. Um, some tarot readers say this is Cancer. I think of it as a Pisces card. Um, so it could just be you showing up in your power. But um, it also could represent um, a couple things, like really kind of listening to your dreams and, and following your intuition. Um, but it's also about things done in the dark coming to light. So you might be finding out some information, Pisces, about something you didn't know had happened or was going on, and it might come to light. Um, under that, we have the Six of Swords, which is moving on to calmer water, so it might prompt a movement. And then under that is the Ten of Cups towards a soulmate's true love situation. So um, sometimes finding things out isn't always bad. Um, even the movement and the transition moving on to calmer waters, sometimes it's difficult, but it might be for the best. It might lead you to your Ten of Cups and your soulmate. Um, let's see what we have here for you, Pisces. Um, you're showing up as the Ace of Wands, very passionate, very fiery. Um, this is the, the magic stick card, if you catch my drift. Um, lots of fire, lots of passion, um, lustful kind of energy. This is new I feel like you're bringing this. You're coming in hot, Pisces. You got a lot of passion and, and passion and lust. I wouldn't say love, but lots of passion to offer. Um, you're coming in as a single, singular energy, Pisces. Um, you're focused on your finances. You're focused on your job. You're focused on building something, keeping your finances set. Um, However, uh, the pentacles is like a very committed, loyal situation. So I think you're you're committed to kind of being financially stable. Like you're really um, trying to pull yourself together. Uh, I'm not sure what your burdens are right now, Pisces, but I, I see you putting your burdens down there. Gonna, in traditional tarot, the Ten of Wands is a man with ten wands on his back, and it's just getting too heavy. He's hunched over. Sorry, he's hunched over and um, he just needs to put the burdens down. But tens are ending, so then after an ending comes a new beginning, right? So you're going to be putting something down. Again, I don't know if that's related to these three cards here. Um, you find something out, you move on to calmer waters and you get this, but you're putting something down. I'm going to I'll clarify. What does this ten of wands mean for Pisces?
Okay, so um, when I clarified the Ten of Wands, I got the Ace of Cups kind of in reverse. Um, so this is like unrequited love. So an Ace of Cups is like a new start in love. So the Ace of Cups in reverse is like blocked, blocked love or blocked emotion. Um, with the Sun card. Um, and the sun card represents positivity and joy. So perhaps um, you're walking away from blocked emotions or unrequited love from either like a Leo or from someone um, that at one point brought you a lot of joy. Um, you're surrendering to the situation with the hangman. You're surrendering to the situation. The hangman kind of lets go and surrenders to the pause. So he just allows whatever it is to happen. And then he begins to heal. Like instead of trying to fight against something, you just let things be what they are. Um, but yeah, so you're walking away from this blocked emotion or this love that's not reciprocated. Or perhaps you're, you're surrendering to that and then you're walking to success, optimism, and openness and joy um, with the sun card. Okay. Your person is um, coming in looking like the chariot. So the chariot can be two things, two depictions. Um, it could be like forward positive movement, right? Like the chariot comes rushing in. Or it could be a choice um, in love. There's a dark horse and a light horse. So your person is either going to be coming or rushing towards you or they have a choice in love and they have to kind of make a decision. Um They're, they're going to offer you their cup of love right here with the Page of Cups. So this is like a romantic proposal, a date, a, a text message, a thinking of you, uh, offer to go on a date. Um, some kind of good news in relations to love. I think they definitely do want a love situation. They're showing up as the temperance though too. I think um, they are balancing their situation out. So the temperance is often patience. But it's also, like, if you see this person has the sun and the moon, they're trying to kind of balance out their situation. So I think, um, I have a feeling that this chariot card is they are going to be moving forward towards you. But I feel like it's going to be after things are balanced out for them. Um, the connection... <laughs> It looks like you're going to get married, Pisces. The Hierophant is here. The Hierophant is a higher level commitment. It's a spiritual connection. It could be religion, but um, it usually represents, in my readings, a, a marriage. Uh, a strong marriage. Um, the, the strength card is here. So it represents, I think you're going to have a strong marriage. Or it could be with a Leo or a Virgo because the Hermit's here. So um, I feel like, as far as the connection, I think you're going to have a higher level commitment with a Leo or a higher level commitment that is super strong in nature. Like it's going to be um, untouchable. However, the Hermit card is here. So I think that what has to happen first is for uh, you both separately to kind of heal whatever's going on. The Hermit card is usually where we pull ourselves into solitude and we find healing and we think through situations and we soul search and we figure out what is it that we want what do we need to do to make these changes but it's where you kind of pull yourself back so I think um, I think you will have a higher level commitment I'm going to um, keep the moon card here and then just get a couple cards for you Pisces to see the future outcome between you and your person um, I mean I think it's pretty clear cut but with this hermit card being here I just want to get there's a hanged man again, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I don't think I need another card, but I might pull one more. Okay, yep, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, perfect, yep, Ace of Pentacles. So you are going to have a long, stable, committed relationship. Um, I think right now you need to kind of, again, surrender to the pause and find this healing um, this, this transgression or that's not the right word. This forward movement with this relationship is going to be a slow one with the page of pentacles here. Um, but soon, very soon, uh, things will be shifting in your favor. So good karma is coming. You're going to get married to this person. 
Oh, wrong deck. All right, so we're going to get a Silhouettes card from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. I'm wondering, I'm going to clarify, I think, the Moon card because I want to know what is that? Is that something you're going to find out that you didn't know or is that just using your intuition? I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it because this card has come up all night. Untainted. Our love is pure, simple, and perfect. I'm grateful that we did not allow our outside influences or interferences to contaminate our bond. You're the only one I need in my world, my life, and my heart. Untainted. Pisces, you're putting down the burden of a relationship that used to bring you joy, I think, and surrendering to the pause. That's what I think that is. Tranquility. In a world of uncertainty and chaos, you are my peace. That one's coming out a little bit too. Blind. You can't unlock the possibilities unless you see the possibilities. In shade, your world isn't as dark as you think it is. So, oh, and then fond memories. No matter where life takes us, you will forever be a part of my heart, my soul, and my most cherished thoughts. So... There you go, Pisces. I don't know how all those apply to you, but. All right, we're going to get an Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card. For Pisces. I don't know. I'll take those three, I guess. I haven't been taking three, but I'll take three. So it says, love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. That could be your person here with the page of cups, which could be messages of love. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Uh, I think that is probably this Ten of Wands energy here um, with the Ace of Cups in reverse. You're breaking up with somebody. And uh, abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. I think you're going to be leaving, I don't know if you're breaking up, I don't know if you're in a relationship, but you're going to leave something behind. You're going to drop some kind of burden. You're moving towards your person, they're moving towards you with this chariot card. They're going to have some offers for you. You have lots of passion for them. I don't think you're going to think that this is going to turn into a higher level commitment with a strong marriage, but... Or Leo, but it is. I think it's going to kind of surprise you. But it's going to be after you heal or they heal or healing is done. Okay, so we're going to get an In the Shadows Oracle card from All Things Intuitive. I don't know how this one's going so well. For Pisces, the messages for Pisces. Thank you for leaving me. Oh, maybe that's what you're saying to someone or someone's saying that to you. I know more than you think. And we are not right for each other. And then I'm different now. I was under there. So perhaps that's what you're telling someone that you're leaving behind. We're not right for each other. I'm different now. I know more than you think. Maybe there was something with uh, coming to light. And thank you for leaving me. Yikes. All right, guys, so we're going to finish up your read with a Moonology Oracle card from Yasmin Bolin for Pisces. Emotions are running high, Super Moon. This one came out for Aquarius, too. All right, this card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is writ large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, 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 the answer to your question may well be that it is under your nose. This question is about being larger than life, being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect, expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes up. But you may find that there's a lot of emotion to deal with too. There's also a sense that opportunities around you, whatever you're asking about, don't come along every day. So take action. 
And then the it says the re resolution to your question is closer than you think. Don't ignore the obvious. Something exciting lies ahead. And make sure you don't blow events out of proportion. Hmm. All right, Pisces. So uh, there we have it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the read. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really do appreciate all your support. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, if I could get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year, I'd be so thrilled. Um, but thanks, guys. Take care. And until next time, bye-bye.